In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the live link feature in the Substance plugin. So here in the content browser, I have the mesh selected that I want to send to Substance Painter. I also have Substance Painter already running in the background. So here I'm going to just right click on the asset and you'll see that we have this send to Substance Painter option. So I'm going to left click and here you'll notice that you may get this message that lets you know that no valid FBX was found for the object, so one must be exported. And then it's letting you know, please disable the collision static mesh option. So what I'm going to do here is just click OK. And then in the FBX export options, I want to make sure that I come over here to static mesh. And here is this collision option. I want to just disable that and then click export. OK, so now that I've done that, I can switch over to Substance Painter. And this coffee table here will have been sent over. So here we are in Substance Painter, and you can see that the table asset has been loaded. A new painter project has been created, and the name of the table asset that was found in the content browser is now the name of the actual project file. Also, if I take a look at the folder structure for my UE4 project, you'll notice that here uh, we have this .sb folder. So I'm just going to open this up and go through a few of these folders, uh, just kind of drill down. And in here, you'll see that we have this .spp. This is a Substance Painter project, uh, and it's been created for me automatically. So this Painter project that's been created uh, and housed in my UE4 project is what we see open here inside of Substance Painter. All right, so now that we have the project created, you'll notice here on my toolbar, I have this icon here with the green dot, which indicates that a live link between Substance Painter and UE4 has been established. Here I can also see with this particular asset, if I come over here to my texture set list, I can see that I have a single material and here is the layer stack for that material. Now I can start to just create textures and these textures are going to automatically be sent over to UE4 as I work here in Substance Painter. So for example, let's come over here to my shelf and I'm just gonna tear this off and I have some pre-made materials here that ship with Substance Painter. Uh, let's grab something like maybe this aluminum and I'm just gonna drag and drop that here into my shelf. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my layer stack and then here I'll close my shelf. And so now if I look here in Painter's viewport, I can see that uh, I have this aluminum. Now let's jump back over to UE4 and see how the textures for this are being applied. Okay, so here I am in UE4 and you can see that this aluminum material is now applied automatically here. And this was streamed across from Substance Painter here to UE4. Now, when you are working inside of Painter and then you switch back over to UE4, when you first come back to UE4, you'll notice that your textures are a bit low res. All you need to do is just click in the viewport all the textures will resolve to the correct resolution that's set inside of Substance Painter. All right, so now let's jump back over to Substance Painter, create a few more textures, and then we'll come back and see the result here inside of UE4. So now let's start to work on a wood material. Uh, for this here, I'm just going to jump over to Substance Source, and let's see if I can just find a wood uh, that I wanna use here for this tabletop. So here, I think I'll just go with this mahogany wood. So I have this guy selected, I'll hit download. This is gonna be added to my shelf. So we'll close out Substance Source and I'll come back over here to my shelf, tear this guy off and then here you can see that I have that mahogany wood. Now let's drag and drop this here to the layer stack and I'm gonna just close out uh, my shelf. All right, so now you can see, well, we do have this wood texture. Uh, let me check the resolution here that I'm working with in Painter. So I'm gonna come over here to my texture set settings and you can see that I have a, a 1K texture. Uh, let's set this to be uh, a 2K. So we're changing our texture resolution. Uh, so we now have this wood. Let's just see what's happening over in UE4. So I'm gonna jump back. And so here we are in UE4, and you can see that, again, the material has now transferred over, and we have this wood. So like I've been saying, the live link is going to stream data from Substance Painter here to UE4. Now, there's some configurable options that you can work with at the plugin. So once again, back here in Substance Painter, uh, you'll notice that if I come over here to my plugins, you'll see that we have DCC live link. And if I come over here to this configure option, it's gonna open this dialog and I have an option here at the very top called enable streaming. So if I disable this ena enable streaming option, you'll notice here that my icon, my UE4 icon, instead of a green dot, I now have this red dot. And what that means is that the textures are no longer live streaming over to UE4. 
So this could be an option, like if you want to stay working inside of Painter for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes or something like that as you work, uh, and you want to kind of maximize your performance so in the background Painter's not exporting and sending data over to UE4, you can just disable uh, this streaming option here and then just work in Painter, and then when you're ready to finally send everything back over, you can just enable the option here. Uh, then Painter will then go ahead and just stream everything back to UE4. Here you also have uh, delay on project creation settings here, uh, the standard maps transfer delay, so you can work with this. In UB4's viewport, you may see like a degraded uh, preview of the image. And here's where we can start to control uh, this option here. We have a preview threshold and a resolution setting. And then uh, you have this high quality map transfer delay setting here as well. So the first thing is you're going to see kind of a degraded resolution view that's going to be sent. Uh, and then you'll have the high quality map sent uh, right after that. So that, again, just kind of helps you to get more of a real time feedback over what you're seeing between the data coming from Painter over to UE4. And again, this live link configuration wizard here allows you to control that precisely. So here in this case, I'm just gonna close that out. And here we have our green dot, we're sending data over. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of work here to this texture. So what I wanna do is just mask this wood. So I'm gonna right click here, and I'm gonna create a black mask. Uh, and then within this mask, what I'm gonna do is create a paint effect. And uh, actually, I think what I'm gonna try to do here is just use my uh, polygon fill tool. So we'll select this guy and uh, I'm going to uh, use the polygon fill based on UV. And then I'm just gonna click here on this table because this table, the table top part here is a separated UV shell and I can just fill based on that UV shell. All right, so now that I have that in place, this is going to, uh, well, cover the texture. Actually, we have this wood bottom. Uh, we have this bottom piece. I'd like that to probably be uh, wood as well. So let's go back to our polygon fill, still set to UV shell, and we'll click here in this section. And we'll just set this area to a wood material as well. All right, so uh, we've done the texturing work here, and like I said, it's already been set to be streaming live, so let's jump back over to UE4 and take a look at the result. So here we are back in UE4, and in just that moment, you could see that we had kind of a real low-resolution proxy of the image, and then everything refined. And so now we have the texturing work that uh, we did inside of Painter, and now it's showing here inside of UE4. So one last thing that I want to mention is, let's say that you know, you're working uh, in Substance Painter and you have your UE4 project and you want to you know, close everything down, uh, you know, go home for the day, you come back the next day and you're ready to start texturing again. Uh, so in order to pick this back up, what you're going to do, if we, again, if I come over here to this Window Explorer, I'm in my UE4 project, navigate down through the folder structure where I have this .spp. So this is again is the Substance Painter project. What you're gonna do is just open this Substance Painter project. Then you're gonna open uh, UE4, you're gonna open your project, and then all you need to do to reestablish the link is just go back to the mesh that you have here in the content browser, right click, and then choose Send to Painter. And then you can go back into Painter, continue texturing work, and then the data is gonna be sent back here to UE4. So this has been just kind of a quick rundown on how to use LiveLink within the Substance for Unreal plugin. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.